I'm Cindy Balin with some online design tips for you. Anyone who's ever tried to paint a wall will tell you it's almost impossible to choose color from those itty bitty teeny weeny swatches that the paint companies give you. However, you need to try out a color before you can decide exactly what you want. Some people take their brush and put the color right on the wall and to this I would say it's too chaotic you'll end up with several stripes on the wall and it may end up being a while before you paint so your house is going to look a mess between now and then what's the solution the solution is to make your own sample boards now your designer probably has books like I have here which have many different color samples in them and you can compare them for example you could say I know I want green I'm not sure if I want the brighter green or the more mellow green or you could say yes I'm thinking of gray is this one too light is this one too dark does this one have too much blue in it you're not going to be able to decide unless you make a sample board some paint companies these days are selling sample boards maybe 18 by 24 inches what a great thing that is you can test out color without actually putting the brush into the paint until you go to the wall however if your paint company hasn't done that you can make your own sample boards and it will help you to decide what color you want to work with so this is the gold standard for sample boards it's a piece of foam core painted up with two colors of paint you can take this and tape it up on the wall and make your decision however foam core can run into some expense after a while so maybe you want to do it this way instead this is a piece of poster board again it's painted with two coats of the color we chose and you can make your decision based on that all right so what do you need to make a sample board well obviously some kind of board either poster board or uh, a foam core and then the next thing you need is the paint there are so many different kinds of sample paints that you can get some companies give you a fairly large canister this is not by the way the kind of paint and the quality of paint you'd want to use on the wall this is just sample paint it's usually uh, flat texture and uh, not too uh, not too great with coverage but it's perfect for testing out what you need which is what shade works best for me I love it when the paint companies come out with these little cans of color samples they're usually just about the right size to help you get your idea some paint companies will make a paint sample for you of any color they stock that's great that way you can really come home and get some similar colors and decide which one works for you but sometimes the color that you want is only available in quart size it's worth the ten or twelve dollars to test it out and make sure that's really the color that you want we say you know that paint is really your best decorating value but nobody wants to go through and paint a room only to decide that's not really the color that works so what do you do you get a brush I like foam brushes for making sample boards I think they make uh, a really great way of getting the paint onto the board um, what I'll often do is I'll get a little plastic container I'll open up this is soft pumpkin that's a nice color so you dip your foam brush in the paint start getting a coat on there oh that's beautiful of course sometimes the surprise can be a little less pleasant but you'll see even as you get the first coat on there you'll be able to tell right away if you don't like it it may take you a little bit longer to decide that you do like it okay so once you've created your sample board what do you do next you attach it to the wall of your room with some painters blue tape leave it up on the wall for about a week look at it every day in different lighting conditions you'll know within a few days whether it works for you and you can try a few different samples at a time by the end of the week you should know which one you'd like to see
I'm Cindy Balin with some online design tips for you at my website at www.orangesandlemonscolors.com. Thanks.